Welcome to this Deeds of Arms video where today uh, we're going to be talking about this square plate which would have been used by His Majesty's sailors on uh, ships of the line at the turn of the 19th century. Now, depending on your uh, knowledge of history, this may ring bells because you may think, hang on a minute, square meals, ah, and the sides of the plate, the fiddle, so if you've got more than your fair share of the ration, then you'd be on the fiddle. Sorry. It's a bit apocryphal and none of it's true. <laughs> well, this is true. They did indeed have square wooden plates and almost certainly parts of the uh, mess would have had their daily rations placed onto these and then handed out to the men. They're quite useful that you pop them onto your mess table and they're not gonna slip and slide. And certainly in the, uh, in the galley itself, there was a, and on all sailing ships, there was a setup of ropes around the worktops known as the fiddle, which would stop the um, plates and pots and things sliding around or even sliding off the work surfaces during heavy weather. But on these, afraid not, this isn't the fiddle at all. So the etymology of the word for square and square meal is actually quite old. I mean, it goes back to the 16th century. Uh, and certainly being square was about being straight and being honest and so there's obviously a confusion there and um, what's happened that it certainly seems to be the case at least is that people knew that the sailors had these square plates square meal was a term that was being used and probably in the late victorian period into the early 20th century that story got mashed together and it was then taught again and again through the generations at places like hms victory and so the story stuck the actual origins of square meal itself it's much much later it's probably 1840 1850 and it comes from america the 1850s actually was a period of a lot of new uh, slang a lot of, lot of new language entering into common parlance um and a lot of them are relating to food. Um, seafood is a really good example. It's another American word. It starts to appear on restaurant menus uh, and then rapidly becomes popularized. But the idea of having a square meal on your square plate and that being seafood wouldn't have happened in Nelson's time. They wouldn't have understood what you were talking about. And um, would the sailors have actually eaten off this? Probably not, actually. Um, from the records we do have, the sailors constantly refer to the fact that they hated eating off of wood. It was, um, it's what poor people did, not sailors. No, they preferred this. White and blue wear. This is actually an original 200-year-old piece of porcelain. And this is another example. This is a, a reproduction piece from, uh, originally the original piece out of America, uh, so an American ship, but uh, this would have been made around about 1806, 1807. So that's the sort of plate that the sailors were eating their dinner off. And when we look at images from the period of the messes, they have sideboards set up in the mess on the ship with all their blue and white ware neatly stacked in place. And we know from one occasion where during heavy weather, all of this crockery was smashed and broken that the captain, when putting into port, tried to go cheap and buy everything in wood to replace it. And the sailors near on mutinied. They liked their nice crockery to eat off. For drinking, they did go a little bit more old school with this. Uh, this is a horn mug, so an ox horn, but uh, that's really what the sailors had. I expect they used that as a little tray to put their crockery on. There you go. Uh, thank you very much.